welcome back to the platform of online classroom my dear students of class 7 we are going to end our chapter 4 simple equations today will be the last session so let us see what interesting topic we are going to deal today applications of simple equations to practical situations students you have dealt simple problems on this topic on thursday today we will be having a little more tough problems and let's see what it is the teacher tells the class that the highest marks obtained by a student in her class is twice the lowest marks plus 7 the highest score is 87 what is the lowest score so we have finished reading the question the first time so let us start reading the question part by part the teacher tells the class that the highest marks obtained by a student in her class is twice the lowest marks plus 7 the highest score is 87 what is the lowest score so what is the unknown quantity here after reading the question students did you understand what is the unknown topic here here the unknown topic is the lowest score clear the unknown quantity is lowest score so what is given in the question you are given that the highest score is 87 what is the relation between lowest score and highest score yes the relation is given here twice the lowest mark plus 7 is the highest score what do you mean by twice two times twice means two times two times the lowest mark plus 7 is equal to highest score this is what you have to understand after reading the question now let us see how to write that let the lowest score be x why did you take the lowest score as x yes you are asked to find the lowest score so the quantity which you have to find will be taken as the variable what did i say the quantity which you have to find is the variable so in this question you have to find the lowest score so you are going to take lowest score as the variable now you will convert the given relation in the question to equation what was the relation highest score is equal to twice the lowest mark plus 7 that is highest mark is equal to 2x plus 7 2x 2 times the lowest mark 2x means 2 times the lowest mark plus 7 this is given in your question 2x plus 7 is equal to 87 why where is that 87 coming from it is directly given in your question the highest score is 87 so what is the equation you got 2x plus 7 is equal to 87 now using the transposing method you will solve the equation you will solve the 
equation. 2x plus 7 is equal to 87. This plus 7, when it goes to the other side, it becomes minus 7. So, what is 87 minus 7? 87 minus 7 is equal to 80. So, how will you read this statement? 2 into x is equal to 80. 2 into x is equal to 80. So, how will you take this 2 into to the other side? It becomes division. x is equal to 80 by 2. That is 40. So, what did you get as the final answer? The lowest score is equal to 40 marks. So, students, what was the first thing I did in the solving the problem? First, I read the question. Then, I again read the question part by part. Then, converted the statements given in the question to mathematical equation. And then, solved the equation. Now, let's see the second question. In an isosceles triangle, the base angle are equal. The vertex angle is 40 degree. What are the base angles of the triangle? Now, as you have discussed the first problem, so tell me what will I take as the variable in this question? What is the unknown quantity in this question? The unknown quantity is base angles of the triangle. What is that? Base angle of the triangle. So, we will take base angle as x. Okay. Now, you should know how many angles are, are there in a triangle. How many angles are there in a triangle? There are three angles in a triangle. Now, what is the specialty of an isosceles triangle? What is the specialty of an isosceles triangle? Isosceles triangle has two equal angles and one another angle. Okay. Now, here in this question, you should know the fact that sum of all angles of the triangle is 180 degree. That you should know. What is that? The sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. That you have learned in class 6. So you have three angles in a triangle. In an isosceles triangle, two angles are equal. Which are ang the angles? The base angles are equal. So here we took base angle as x degrees. Okay. So how many base angles are there? There are two base angles. That is why you took x plus x. Why did you take that? There are two base angles in an isosceles triangle and they are equal. So, x plus x plus 40. What is this 40? This is the third angle given in your question. 40 is the third angle given in your question. So, what is the equation? x plus x plus 40 is equal to 180 degree. What is x plus x? x plus x is 2x. What is that? x plus x is equal to 2x. So, you will get the final equation as 2x plus 40 is equal to 180 degree. The final equation is 2x plus 40 degree equal to 180 degree. Solving the equation, plus 40 becomes minus 40. That is 180 minus 40 is equal to 140. How will you read this? 2 into 
x is equal to 140. 140 divided by 2 equal to 70 degree. So what did you take as x? Base angle. So what is the final answer? Each base angle measures 70 degree. That you should write at the end of each and every answer. What did you take as the variable? That solution you should write at the end of your answer. Let's see third question. Sachin scored twice as many runs as Rahul. Together their runs fell too short of a double century. How many runs did each one score? Students, after reading the question, you should have understood that this question is about cricket. So, those who have played or saw cricket, you have, you should know what is a century. What is a century? 100 runs. So, what is a double century? 200 runs. Double century, that is 100 plus 100, 200. Double century means 200. Now, what is this too short of? Can you see the word here? Too short of. For 200, two runs are less. For a 200, two runs are less. So, what is that number known as? 100 and 98 that is 200 minus 2 is equal to 198. Now after reading the question did you understand what is the relation between the number of runs scored by Sachin and runs scored by Rahul? Sachin scored twice. If Rahul had scored x Sachin had scored 2x. Sachin scored 2x. Okay. Let's see the answer. Now. Here you have. X plus 2x is equal to 198. 200 means double century. You need two more runs for 200. So, you will get the final equation as 3x is equal to 198. x is equal to 198 divided by 3. It's 66. What is x? Runs scored by Rahul is 66. So, what is the runs scored by Sachin? It is 2 into 66 equal to 132. Students, by this we come to an end of our chapter, Simple Equations. So, you should know how to convert statements to equations. Then, how to convert equations to statements. Then, how to solve equations by transposing method. Different types of equations we have learned. Equations containing brackets, equations containing fractions and everything you should revise. Understand the concepts clearly. So, thank you students. We will see in the next chapter. Have a nice day.